The next type of dimensioning in Alplan we can show is the auto dimensioning. Again, here are properties, similar as we showed before, so we won't go through that detailed explanation again. Just define the size and shape for Arrowhead, set the advanced settings, layers for all elements and tabs for text, dimension text and input options accordingly. In tab dimension text, change the dimension text unit to centimeters and turn off the exponent format option. Confirm everything with OK button and click on the point through which the dimension line will be placed. Now input direction angle in command line. It can be any arbitrary angle. Input the angle of 19 degrees, which will make the dimension line to be vertical. Note that instead of inputting the angle, you can define the angle by clicking on two different points. Next step is to set points for the clipping path. At least two points must be input. Press the escape key when you are done. Then the software will prompt you to input another section line if you want to add more elements on your dimension line. But for now click on escape key again and you can immediately see dimension lines with all elements properly dimensioned. With auto dimensioning command everything that clipping path intersects will be dimensioned. Let's place another horizontal dimension line. Again first click to the point through which the dimension line will be placed. Enter the angle direction of 0 degrees and click on the first point for clipping path. For clipping path you can enter several arbitrary points. For example, if you want this walls to be dimensioned, you can go up with the clipping line to intersect these walls and then turn back. After setting the last point, press the escape key and you can immediately see all the elements dimensioned on the one dimension line. This way you can quickly dimension everything that intersects with the clipping line. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video tutorial.